What's going on, guys? Power Bang here, bringing you the next war recap. We went up against a clan called War is Karabat. Pronouncing that wrong, I'm sure, but that's all right. Uh, level 7 clan out of Malaysia here, and they were overmatched in this one. 95% total destruction for us. 86 to 20 was the final score. We did come to play. Um, absolutely crazy uh, opening to this war. Uh, we came out and just, you know, dropped the three-star train uh, right away. And uh, just really went to town early, um, taking care of business. So this thing was out of hand and uh, put away very early on in the war. They realized that and didn't really put forth a full full effort there, uh, not using most of their attacks. But 26 three stars uh, for us, one for them. We did take out, if we look at the map here, um, everything except for their Town Hall 10s. They did get away from us there. Um, al almost all their uh, t bases were Town Hall 9. Uh, 26 of them, I believe, but the uh, the top four Town Hall 10s could not get the triples up on them, uh, but that's all right. Let's look at some attacks, starting on number six here. This is an attack by Walter. He's going out of Dragonflower base here, and he's going to come at that uh, from the top right here, and he's going to do a stoned entry there. Uh, three golems. They're just doing work, and I, I like the wizard spread he uses here. He notices that the archer towers um, are firing at the golem, so are the mortars. So he gets a really nice wizard spread on both sides there, um, getting quite a bit of uh, real estate taken out. The wall breakers go in and open up the wall for everything, and those golems collapse all into the same compartment, and the queen is backing that up. She's not going to stray just due to the work that the wizards have already put in. And then the, the king kind of trails everything. Uh, rage spell comes down. You're going to see a couple balloons and a dragon come out. Approach the uh, the kill squad here. Uh, they're tanking it. The king hops the wall here, and he's going to um, basically just take out the rest of this compartment and then hop into that core area. Um, hogs are starting to come in from the backside there. Really nice job. Stuff starting to get distracted by that kill squad. All those golems are still up. Walter does a nice job taking advantage of that distraction and uh, slipping those hogs in without uh, much healing assistance. So first heal comes down on that potential double giant bomb set. Uh, they're is not one there. It looks like he's uh, sniffed out some single bombs, perhaps, uh, maybe a double. We'll see with the hogs path around a second potential location there, and then they're going to go ahead and get into this last section of the base. Um, he does have a loon over there for a trade on the cannon on the right side. Not really necessary, but it'll work. Um, does get the archer tower taken out, and uh, catches a single bomb there at the very end. Um, Wizards are working the top end of the ring for cleanup already, and that is going to be that, guys. Three stars for the good guys for Walter. We'll go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this. Um, very nice raid. Uh, kind of a weird setup on this one. He did have four single bombs uh, in the internal guts of this base, so just, you know, it was a base meant for hogs, and that's what Walter brought. So very nice job, man. All right, guys, the next one we're going to look at is number nine, I believe, um, on Amy. This is an attack by Blue Proud. And Blue is going to do the Queen Charge here. And uh, I've got a guide coming on this uh, likely tomorrow on the Queen Charge. Um, but you'll see he's going to start creating a funnel here with some minions on that right flank there, taking out the uh, Dark Elixir drill, and then they're going to move on to that barracks and get that taken out as well. You see there's no air coverage at all over there um, that's going to be in range of that. You'll see the other side of the funnel is going to be naturally broken by the Queen. It's that army camp there. So she's going to take that out on her way into this core. He's used the Quad Quake to go ahead and open up uh, the outer portion of the wall, so no wall breakers necessary. And then it's going to open up all the way to the core. Uh, so the goal here is to kind of just work that queen back and forth, back and forth, until she finally goes inside the wall to the core of the base. Uh, she's going to get engaged in some girl-on-girl -girl action here, taking out that uh, enemy archer queen. She goes down without a fight, and uh, he's going to go ahead, pop the, uh, the air defense here, go over and take out that army camp. And as you can see here, it naturally breaks that funnel because it's so wide. And then she's going to get sucked into the middle of that base. So very nice job there. Um, once that's happened, he still has his king left in the bag. He's got a jump spell. He's got 18 hogs left over and 9 wizards. And he's already taken out over 30% of the base. Uh, the queen is also going to get that clan castle taken care of as well. The poison spell is going to help slow everything down. She uses the ability, takes out the clan castle with no issue at all. Uh, the queen continues to work. But anyways, the single golem comes down on that left side. There's a lot of defense to tank over there. And he's going to drop all but two of his wizards uh, to go ahead and pick up that point defense while his queen is busy in the core of the base. So the wizards start taking everything out. Um, you know, stuff's dropping. It's looking good. Drops a jump spell there. And the king, the, the, basically he's cleaning up in advance. You notice the outside of the ring. Has, half the base is gone here. He's over 50% already. He still has not dropped his hogs even. So 
A giant comes in to distract. He's got the golem and the king and the core to distract. Uh, Teslas are locked on to the kill squad. Everything looking good. The giant on, up top finally dies, so the, the hogs are getting hit for the first time. Uh, but he's got, you know, hogs coming in. Again, giants for distractions. Everything looking good. Backside hogs. Uh, the queen's still up, full life, five healers on her. And, uh, you know, just the hogs have collapsed here on all of the uh, the defensive buildings. Just looking super awesome. Has a rage spell left in the bag. Um, you know, typical blue fashion, man. Uh, just completely wrecks this base. I've got a guide coming on this here shortly, as I mentioned. Um, he's uh, done it again in our current war a couple times. So uh, we'll show you guys exactly how to do this as well and what you're looking for in, in the base. So very nice attack from Blue Proud, uh, representing once again for us. Nice war to him. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next attack. All right, guys. Um, nope, not that one. Uh, this one. This is an attack by me. Some people had asked uh, in my live attack video, uh, they were looking for Laloon attacks, and they specifically wanted them using the Quad Quake with haste. So, yeah, what the heck? Let's show you that. So I, uh, I use that method here. I drop one golem at the start here to go ahead and create that right funnel. The plan was to go ahead and Quad Quake this junction right here. Um, unfortunately, that ends up going a little bit screwy. I wanted my queen to walk that direction, so I dropped her over here. The wizards were supposed to take out the clan castle inside of a rage, um, but instead they shoot the wall and actually open that up for the golem, so my golem passed to the right uh, rather than to the opening on the left, so that screws up my pathing a little bit, causes my king uh, to go ahead and chase the queen, so I had to wait now uh, for my, my wizards on the left side of this uh, funnel because that uh, archer tower was, uh, you know, not shooting where I wanted it to. So I waited for it to lock onto the king. That's done. So the wizards go down and break that gold mine. Now everything's going to go to the core. So everything's looking good. Heal spell goes down to kind of help keep that golem and that, uh, that barb king up as long as possible. Into the core, the barb king goes. The queen takes out one of the air defenses. And uh, we're looking for one more air defense, hopefully, um, before we get this Laloon going. But it does not look like it's going to happen easily. So I just get going with it. Um, send in a hound straight to that first air defense, and you'll notice the haste spell is going to come in on that second air defense because I'm trying to kill it as soon as possible. Um, we need to make sure that uh, you know we get as much use out of those hounds as possible. Uh, so we get that second group in. Uh, everything's pushing through the core here. The queen is going to take out the Teslas, and then luckily she's going to path over and go straight to that air defense, which is the kind of the plan in the first place was to get everything to the core. Um, it just happens slower than I had anticipated. I do use the ability to get that thing taken out as quickly as possible and then drop in some back end balloons there to go ahead and take out that archer tower and get that dealt with unfortunately the cannons do <laughs> take out my queen right at the last second um, but that's all right i've got wizards working on the ring along with the pups and i've got a nice loon split there on that left side to go ahead and take out all of those buildings um, on the left so really nice uh work there a little bit screwy on the initial opener uh, the wizards hitting the wall uh, was unanticipated and kind of directed my troops in an area that, you know, really was not ideal. But it worked out. There's the uh, Quad Quake Laloon with a haste spell to help everything along. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now, moving on to the next one. Look at Constantine here being attacked by Neb78. Uh, Neb does a great job uh, on this base. And I wanted to show this one not because it was that great a raid. I mean, it was a nice raid. Um, but easy lure here, as you can see. He just drops a, a stone goho. Uh, gets the poison spell down and everything's flying into it. Uh, backs it up with some wizards and the queen. They're going to take that out no problem. Wall breakers open up that compartment. And that compartment, he's just going to drop a jump spell to get everything into the core um, and go ahead and get that tanked. But check this out. He's got, uh, you know, he drops a jump spell just in case the queen didn't hop back over the wall. She does. But the king's going to go over, take out that queen, no issues. But look at the hog pathing here. There is no traps, you know, really at all. Um, to, to pull his troops into that core, and there's also no traps at all. You know, there's no space between these buildings. He can lose basically right there. There's a spring trap probably. Um, but other than that, there's nothing that's going to affect his hogs. So he just drops a heal spell way out in front. He's got three heals. He's got his king. He's got his golems and wizards in the core. And, uh, you know, it's just absolutely silliness. So uh, the hogs are working their way around the base. As you can see, he does lose a couple there to spring traps. A um, couple of spring traps were in that location as predicted and he lost four or five hogs there to that but he just drops the heal spell and literally a one finger drop here 
and he's working his way around the base uh, because there's no traps, there's no bombs, there's nothing that can hurt his hogs. Um, so with three heal spells, just completely steamrolling the base. Uh, the queen's working her way around the outside. That's going to be really nice for cleanup. And then he's got wizards working that uh, that back end. So great work to Neb here, um, taking advantage of a really, really exploitable base. Um, I showed this because I know it's a common base, and I wanted you guys to have the ammo in your arsenal to take it down easily as well. So nice work to Neb. All right, guys, number 15 is what we're looking at here. This is going to be an attack by Miss Mia. Um, really like the way she hit this with the, um, you know, the loon deployment that she did. Drops the quad quake here. Um, going to enter through the bottom with a couple golems. And uh, does a really nice job with the wizards here, taking kind of a whole bunch of stuff out. And then drops in three wall breakers here. One's going to be a sacrificial wall breaker. Then the next two get the job done. And at this point, it's safe to send the uh, the heroes She's got a second golem heading in, and because that clan castle is so far up top, she's got some time for those golems to get out front. Really nice job there. Uh, the king's going to go ahead and have to use the ability here. He locks onto the queen, takes her out, no issues at all. And uh, check out the two air defenses already taken out at the bottom. Uh, really nice work there as well. So uh, the w wizards clean up that second air defense, incoming on the clan castle. Qu uh, queen's going to go ahead and lock onto the dragon as well as those balloons and get that taken out. Uh, so really nice uh, entry so far. She goes ahead and just sends the hounds from the backside there. Uh, they lock on to both of the air defenses. And then look at the targeting here of those balloons. Everything just kind of uh, targeting a defense building. They all jump in at the same time. Haste spells and rage spells go down. Uh, the rage targets that expo to get that taken out quickly. And then uh, everything kind of collapsing on those last couple defenses. Queen's still up doing her thing. She takes out the air sweeper before he gets another puff off, and that is that. So the loons get a nice split there. They all go their own separate directions and take out some uh, some trash buildings here. Really nice raid to Mia. She's going to be uh, taking out those last couple for the three. Three stars for the good guys. Awesome work. Right on, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at just one more. Um, some of these get kind of sad toward the, the bottom here. It ends up being a lot of bully stuff, but, uh, you know, can't really help it. Just got to hit what's in front of us. So Lad Manny here is one of our lower Town Hall 9s. Uh, really nice spread here on his Laloon. Uh, shattered entry coming from the bottom, and he's also going to go ahead and uh, actually stoned entry here. I really like this aspect of it. I forgot about this. So the third golem comes in. He's got so much core to work with here that he's just going to go ahead and jump spell in. Everything kind of redirects, but look at the wizards doing some serious work uh, as they are kind of, you know, taking out all that trash building, even some of the point defense over the wall. Um, nice work with that. Rage spell goes down. They're going to quickly push in, and that queen is going to lock on to the CC. Take down those balloons very quickly, and then also take out that dragon. Another rage spell leads the troops into the core. Um, you know, he's able to save, instead of doing the quad quake, he saves one of those spells. So now he's double rage spelling it up, takes out both of the air defenses here. And at this point, the CC's down, um, you know, both of the, uh, you know, the clan castle's taken out. He's got the sweeper taken out. And then he sends in, uh, hounds from the long side of the, the, the base here. Um, they head into the, the last couple air defenses. Look at the... Look at the spread on the balloons. I mean, just targeted to everything, completely collapsing on the middle here. Um, beautiful raid. I absolutely loved this. Uh, everything collapsing at the very end, kind of meeting in the middle. The hound's starting to pop at this point. Um, but it, it's just too late for this, man. Everything converges on that town hall. And then uh, wonderful sp uh, split on those balloons. Uh, get some nice cleanup action out of it. Uh, so really nice job, Lad Manny. Uh, Lad Manny is also uh, a mini of one of our guys. That's Aridin. And uh, just absolutely slaying lately is uh, both of those guys. So congrats to uh, uh, WHF on this win. Uh, really came to play. Uh, love love seeing that. So uh, Wars Carabat, good luck to you guys in the future. Um, good try on this particular uh, this particular battle. Uh, but sneak peek for the next one, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the current score. It is another absolute slaughter. So I apologize that, you know, we've been just crushing people lately. Uh, but it is what it is. And once again, everything taken care of. And it was taken care of early in this one. We had the Town Hall 9s clean like four hours into the war. So um, wonderful job. Uh, we'll highlight this one more in the next recap. So lots of guides coming out, lots of popular bases that we're seeing lately, and I'm happy to bring you guys some how-tos on how to take down specific popular internet bases. 
finally seeing them in the past couple of uh, videos. So uh, that's going to be all for this particular war recap, guys. This is Power Bang, signing out till next time. Take care.